What's up, y'all? I'm back. You tuned into episode eight of the Satoria Nicole Show. It's gonna be a crazy, dope episode. Rich Fetty came through, Tate Kelly came through, and then we got a live performance that's going down. It's gonna be real dope. Stay tuned. If you have a dream, you just go for it. No pause, just do it, man. Go for it. If they say you can't, you go harder for it. Don't stop, just do it, just go for it. If you have a dream, you just go for it. No pause, just do it, man. Go for it. If they say you can't, you go harder for it. Don't stop, just do it, just go for it. 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 What's up, world? You're tuning into the Satori Nicole Show, and I'm sitting here with Rich Fetty. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. His name. You talk like your name. You got a sexy <laughs> name, sexy talk. I know that's yeah, right. Rich it. Fetty. So where does the name Rich Fetty come from? Um, like I want to say maybe like three years ago, my brother, I'm saying it's locked up, free health. He um started calling me like Baby Rich Porter. You know what I'm saying? I got on my feet. <laughs> yeah, for real, though. I mean, I got um. I was broke for a long time. You know what I'm saying that's yeah. real. Yeah. That was real. Yeah, life was real. You know okay, what I'm but um, I got on my feet, and then you know, like when you're not used to having stuff, you just kind of boss your life up a little bit, and I kind of reminded him of Rich Porter, but he already had the little Fetty train thing, so he's calling me Rich. I took Porter out and just added Fetty. So okay, so I got the name. So that go the history behind the name Rich Fetty. Right. So um, how? You came across me was um everyone was inboxing me your panda remix like yeah. everybody was going crazy about it down to my little cousins like people that was just like yo he's hot he's popping Appreciate so what Thank made everybody. you what made you remix panda um I heard a lot of people get on it I wasn't really too impressed and people in my entourage were saying bro you need to get on that man because I was quiet for a while too but I did it. The numbers was crazy. I didn't even think it was going to take off the way it did. I think I did like 10,000 10, plays in like two, three days. That's so, Yeah, that's definitely, definitely major. Um, crazy thing is, is designer who actually did the song Panda, right. same reason to why he got on it. Oh, yeah. Everybody was going to the studio getting on this Panda beat, but nobody would buy it. So what he did was is he bought the beat. And every he wanted everybody to get on it. Right. If you actually listen to his mixtape, he has uh Panda up there four different ways. Like he rapped it different ways. That's I think crazy. even to the point where okay, everybody like he sound like future. I think he did that strategically and on purpose. But I because think that's if his you voice, if, mm -mm, if you listen to his the other versions of it, he right. sounds completely different on every single version of Panda. So I really feel like he did that on purpose. That's crazy. And it was smart of him to buy the beat because yeah, Panda yeah. is a dope beat. It's a banger. I heard a song in 16 right now, in my opinion. But. I feel the same way. You know, it's in competition with Rihanna, but when it comes to rap, you I know, love Riri, though. When it, when it comes to rap, I definitely give right now Designer Panda number one song so far. Okay, okay, okay. Definitely. Well, because Drake be singing sometimes. I like his album, too. But <sighs> Future was mad, though, at Designer. Because it's. The flow, the voice. Or the voice, like, because um, they say he got on stage at some show and was like, oh, you know, I'm not the fake future. I'm the real future. Like, <laughs> there's only one future, man. This one, I'm really the flow. Really. Future be getting real mad. He got Twitter fingers because Sierra be making him mad, too. Man, that's all baby mama drama. I get Twitter fingers sometimes, too. You is real. You is, let's talk about how real you are, because I actually uh, followed you on Facebook today. Right. I actually spent the whole day going to check your timeline to see what type of person you were, yeah. what type of things you post, and um, I actually seen somebody on your status that said you need your own show. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that up to you. Though. I like yours better. But it would be dope, like if you like real facts with Rich Fetty. You produce it or something? Yeah, we could okay, do a segment okay. together. Like, that would be real dope. We just created one. So so let's do it real quick. Real facts with Rich Fetty. Real let's facts. talk about some of the things you pointed out today on Facebook. What you see? I seen the one where you was like, um, if yo boo say he got money. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Um, Basically speaking on, because you know, 
with me, I'm I'm not afraid to bring up my struggles. You know what I'm saying? But you got some people who, men particularly, who um feel like they have to flex and perpetrate like they getting all this money, you know. But your girlfriend nails not done, weave ain't really looking be too good. Be jacked up, and she be like, "My rent. boo is balling. He got a lot but, of money." But, and... but those are those good girls though. You know what I'm saying? Who's not gonna put her man down to other dudes? You know, but. That was the real fact. So what was another real fact that you put out there today? Um, you speaking on Future and on Sierra, like baby mama stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's like, you know, females, baby mothers, they um feel like a lot of them are bitter, you know, when they the baby daddy. and <laughs> That is weak. <laughs> she is like, weak. When, when they separate and the baby daddy, you know, kind of do, starts doing better, you know, because, you know, a lot of females be vulnerable, so they just start dealing with different guys to try to Your find what they're missing. Your perspective is interesting. Yeah, I've been through a lot. I've been it's, through a lot. I'm not perfect either, but... You know, I'm not a bitter baby mom. I think the bitterness <laughs> comes from, um, or a bitter ex-wife. I think the bitterness comes from when they still want to be... T- no, no, I'm legally divorced. So, I think the bitterness comes from them still wanting to be together. I believe, yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. That's what I think. Like, but when, you know, shout out to my BD. We cool. We super cool. <laughs> but like when, like when we separated, we really didn't want no parts from each other. So it was no drama on either end. How long was y'all together? Since, um, since we were 15. Shoot. We got married at 19. So over 10 years. So that's a lot to let go though. You know, some people don't even last a year now. You know? Times is different. Yeah. I haven't made it to a year yet recently. <laughs> <laughs> my, single. my track record been dead. I don't <laughs> I don't really want to answer that question on TV. Okay, okay, okay. I'll ask off the air. Yeah. Because you know, I don't want it to go down in my DM. <laughs> Not at all. But let's let's talk about music. When did you start uh doing music? Um, I was like eight. You know, my dad, my daddy rap, my uncle Chubb rap. Um so it's just, I mean, I feel like it's always been in me. And it was also a way for me to speak my mind, you know, kind of like I feel like I'm more understood in my music than kind of sitting down speaking to somebody. So I've been doing it for a long time, 26 now. So Okay. So what message are you wanting to put out in your music? I mean, as far I don't really want to say it's a message, but I, I feel like my music is kind of venting, you know, for me um what I go through. So if you listen to me, you kind of get to know me, you know. And I know it's a lot of people who came from where I came from, been in my situation. Some people don't know how to overcome it. You know what I mean? They feel like, man, that's a lot of things, man. You know, I'm, I'm a deep dude. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I question God a lot sometimes, but. That's real. You know, everything happened for a reason. But that's like I'm getting real. my message through with, with the music thing, so. I'm going to keep pushing with it. That's what's up. So anything else you want to share with the viewers? I mean, if you're doing music, singing, um, rapping, choreography, trying to be a radio personnel or whatever the case may be, just keep going. You know, Don't let nobody stop you because anything is possible. That's what's up. A lot of determination. I really think you're going to do some really major things. Like I said, everyone is going crazy about you out here in Virginia right now. I would love to see you, like, traveling and going places with your music. So big shout-out to you. Everybody, make sure you follow Rich Fetty on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. What's your Instagram and your Twitter? Instagram is rich.fetty. Facebook is Rich Fetty Train. And Twitter, I think, is underscore rich underscore Fetty. You type in Rich Fetty anywhere, it should pop up. We're about to get into a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to get into the interview with Tay Kelly.
Welcome to the Satori and Nicole show. I am standing here with Tay Kelly. How y'all doing today, man? What's up? So you are out here from Georgia. Is that where you originally from? Nah, man. I, I was born in New York. You know, I, I really like to be a native from where I'm in Atlanta doing my thing. Right okay, so, like, did music take you out to Atlanta? I took myself out to Atlanta, and now the music taking me other places. Okay, let, let's, let's talk about that real quick, because yeah. I've been having a young, healthy debate with people because I'm actually about to move out to Atlanta. Gotcha. And everyone's like, oh, do you think moving to Atlanta is going to solve your problem? Exactly. I don't really think that for me. I really feel like it's just more opportunity and more networking out there. So is that what you do out there? Exactly. I mean, really, of course, you know, I love VA for sure, but I went to Atlanta because it's more resourceful, you know what I mean? But sometimes I might have a video or something. I have big ideas. If if I didn't want to do my video in front of the store, the cat might be like, man, I can't help you. We just do rap videos in front of the store or rap about drugs or something. I might have, like, a deep idea where I need somebody who really breathes it to do it instead of just doing a check. You know, of course, Ice is here now. He wasn't here before I left. I got to say that. Let me right? tell you, Ice is <laughs> I, I, real. I got to clean it up. Ice is here. Yeah, Ice putting it down, though. Yes. When, I, when I left, I said, damn, why well, I, I, I left? Now, now he, you know what I mean? He's yes. kicking it. But see, it was hard. I, but I'm definitely, I'm trying to definitely get out there and shoot that Coco Studio in Atlanta. Mm, is that Ice T work? Um, no, she is this. <laughs> that Ice T work? No, it's actually this black lady. She owns this called Coco Studios, and it's a film production studio, and they have like so much like props and just green screens and white yeah. screens. Like stuff that come from the ceiling, like basically clothes, everything. I'm video. with that. See, you said profile. I was about to pull up. When it was like, right. I was about to go. Yeah, I was about to go right now. Well, you can still go when you go I'm back to Atlanta. No, I could wait. You can wait. Yeah, you here. Oh, because I'm here. Because you here. I feel so bad. So Coco was first place. So. I just took her spot. That's what's up. You got game. You got a lot of game. Just, just a little bit. So how long have you been doing music? Quite some time. I've been doing music for a minute. Um, I would just say, you know, right now it's like uh, I think I'm going to get better. So I think that's what's happening. Yeah, I'm going to get better. Realizing it's a business, you know. I can make the songs all day. A lot of people think you, know, you, like you gotta, you gotta have to be the savvy with it too. You know, realizing what you're gonna do next. You know, that's what keeps you consistent. You know, there's this quote, you know, a man without a plan is a man who got nothing. So I got something. I got a plan. Okay, so who inspired you? I get inspired by by everything. Um, even when people are messing up, I get in, I learn something from everybody. Let's say, for example, I run in, I ran into this guy in a restaurant. He said he wanted to talk to me. He seen me at some show in Atlanta. I'm in a restaurant. He said he wanted to talk to me. And, um, I call him the fraud master because he had fraud down to a T. Everything he said, was lie, everything. But I learned something from him still. But I learned from the good and the bad. And really, I'm just inspired by things I used to do. Any artist you want to do a feature with? I'm a, I'm big on I like singers, you know. Um, I don't even have a favorite artist, but I would say Drake has been my favorite for years. But uh, lately, you know, I'm saying, I love it, but I still like it. I don't really have no favorite well, I can see people but Chata in there. I ain't even with the dance. He's still dope. I would never take that from him, but I only heard this stuff on the radio, and I ain't in love with it. So. Oh, you haven't heard the album? Um, so I can't fairly judge it. I mean, no, I mean, that's just where I have to look. Oh, You're like, my bad. Oh, oh, like, you oh. want me to keep, like, oh, you know, my neck gonna hurt and stuff. It's like, you tall, I'm short. 
really fast, I'm feeling like I'm real raw. Yeah, I thought I had some flakes on my joint. Nah, you good. You good. You fresh. You got a gold chain on your pocket. Oh, so he, he did that. Yeah, he did. Yeah. 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 I do everything. Uh, he DJ. Yeah. He white. Yeah. He made clothes. Yeah. He, just, he babysit your kids on Thursday. <laughs> Yo, I got that girl. Girl. So she gon' get it. She gon' take that one. That's why I first heard your name. Then. So good. It had to be from Versatile. Because I've been knowing Versatile for a while. And he came on my radio show and um he had did like his own version of In Love with the Coco, but it was like I'm in love with your Coco. I said I'm in love with your Coco. When I tried it, it was okay. Now every day I eat your Coco. It was dope though. Dude, I need, he's like, I need lettuce, I need extra lettuce, like, he's serious. Yeah, yeah. He was real serious. It was a dope performance. It's actually still on YouTube. You can look that up. So, what can we expect from you, you know, this all summer 16, summer 16, like, what's coming from Kate Kelly? Summer? Um, y'all can expect me to be the dude where y'all like, where the hell he come from? Yeah. No, where's all these yeah, hot records yeah, coming yeah, from? Yeah, Why he sound more polished to everybody? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. That's what y'all can expect. You look cocky with it. He look. He look. No, I'm oh, not. Is it, is it confidence Listen, or is it cocky? It's confidence. You know, I've been so quiet for long. I'm doing this for a minute. But you got to talk loud if you want to do this. You ain't got to be cocky or too much. You got to let them know what you That's what's up. So is there any particular message that you're um, wanting to put out in your music? Um, Really just honesty. You know what I'm saying? I want to like show people it's cool to be yourself. I want to show people it's just, it's just cool to be a regular dude too. You know what I mean? Like, you know, a lot of people think they got it. Well, I went thrifting, so you know it's cool. Exactly, but that's before the thrifting was. I still go thrifting. That's what's up. So, where can everyone find you on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook? Oh, um, I am Tay Kelly. Y'all can find me on Instagram. Tay Kelly, T A Y K E L L E Y. Yeah. Kelly with an E in it. Yeah, because people mess it up all the time. You know, I just messed it up because yeah. I was spelling it L L Y. Yeah, it's L L E Y. It's all good. But yeah, really look me up. Like the song playing that background's good. Y'all can check it out on YouTube. It's like a leather towel. She just give it to me like a boss. Boom. I just give it to her like a boss. I'm not cocky. Y'all know me. And I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. People say I'm cocky. I think it's because we light skinned. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, man, we got three light skinned people up here right now. I got a misunderstood talking about that. Like, cause people think I'm stuck up, and I'm real ratchet on the low, on the low though. Yeah, yeah man, I'm just trying to represent the humble people that want to do things. So I you better take that trash you out, like, you know what I'm saying? You got a better opportunity to move to the next level if you do it efficiently. So, yeah, and like, and, and tip for men, like, you know, if you got a lady and you take that trash out, you take it out sexy. She go, babe, babe, you took that trash out so sexy. You get a steak tonight. That's what I would do anyway. What would you do, that? Sexy, though, like, if he take it out, like, because I hate taking the trash out. I really do. I don't like it. I'll leave the trash in my house for a long time to wait for one of my friends to come. And I'll be like, yo, it's like three bags right there. Can you take those out? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I took out the trash today though. You did? Mm -hmm. Mickey, I'm a trash. Yeah. No trash yeah. taking, man. That's your, that's your yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's your favorite. Yeah. Like your, your, your All fetish on the low. And if he watches the dishes, he really wins. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I hate watching dishes. I don't want to cook and watch it. So good, mm. so good. I wanna wipe it. You know I got Check my timeline. I can cook. I like. I will. So good. I'm not.
not a chef or anything. Though. That's what's up. So, Tay Kelly, your real name, or is that your rap? Name? My name's Monte. It's just short for um, Monte. You know, my last name is Kelly. So I'm Tay Kelly. That's, my name. That's what's up. Well, Monte Jr. So is that are you letting your future baby mama know? So you letting your future baby mama know that if y'all have a son, his name has to be Monte Kelly Jr. Is that what you're saying? Who knows when I'm gonna have kids? I mean, I'm just putting it out there for the girl that might be tuned that you know tuned in that's trying. to your baby mama or your wife, you know. That's a scary thought. Itself, but I don't, I don't scary, man, man. That's a scary thought. Yeah. You want a wife? That's how I said might be a wife. So, I don't know if that was a plug or not, but Tay Kelly's looking for a wife. <laughs> we, we, might, we might have to set that up on, for the love of Tay Kelly. performance by MLB so enjoy <laughs> Crazy, met you and met the new me from mom. 
my struggles now become such a lie. So tired of this. So tired of this. So tired of this. So tired of these struggles. Struggles. So tired of these struggles. Struggles. MLB. MLB. Hard as me. London Blue. Here we go. Nicole show episode eight it was super super dope make sure you come back next week tune in with me episode nine yeah i'm still here and we're gonna um then we're gonna give y'all another kid episode we're gonna you know bring y'all a part two and we're gonna have lyji very very dope artist 14 years old he produces his own music he raps he's just super dope so make sure you tune in next week we'll be back with tori nicole show. if you have a dream you just go for it no pause just do it man go for it if they say you can't you go harder for it don't stop just do it just go for it if you have a dream you just go for it no pause just do it man go for it if they say you can't you go harder for it don't stop just do it just go for 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 it